What's up guys? Uh, today's project is fixing this broken window here behind me. You know, if you ever have a broken window in your house like this, you might be thinking, man, this will be a big job. Got to take the window out, siding off and all that, and, and replacing the whole window. But it's actually much easier. Check it out. So the tools needed for this project are a tape measure, a pencil, a two inch or a four inch putty knife, a razor blade, a shim, a caulk gun with clear 100% silicone for exterior, and a roll of paper towels. First thing I'm gonna do is take the window out. To do that, I unlatch it, raise it about four inches, and then pull in on these tabs on each side to tilt it in. And then at about this angle, I'll pick up on one side until it releases, and I'll pull out the other side, and the window's out. So once I have the window laying on a solid, flat surface, I want to pry out this strip. I want to pry out the strip that butts up to this strip first. Sometimes they're on the 45, so I'll take off the strip that is overlapped on top. To do that, I want to use a 4-inch putty knife, uh, a 2-inch to four inch knife will work. I like to use a wider one. And I'm gonna stick it in this gap right here. And I'm gonna push down. And as I'm pushing down, I'm gonna pry the strip away from the window. This takes quite a bit of force. And once I get it started, I'll just keep going down the strip and prying it out. And once I have it popped up, I should be able to go underneath the one end like this and pull it out. And I'll do the same thing on this end. And I like to lay them beside the window and always put the same one back on the same side. Once I have the strips out, the next step is to measure the glass thickness and the thickness of the double pane. I'll take a wood shim with a straight end and I'll stick it down between the glass and the frame and I'll put me a little pencil mark. And I do this because I can't fit a tape measure down there. And then I want to pick it up a little bit and feel where the inside of the glass pane is. Put me another pencil mark. And I'll pull my shim out and I'll measure those marks with my tape measure. So if you notice the first mark is exactly at a half inch. The second mark is at 11 16th. The thing to keep in mind is there's about a 16th of an inch of uh, adhesive on the other side of the pane. So if I drop a six, that 16th inch adhesive off, I'm at a 5 8 So basically what that's telling me is that the overall width of the double pane is 5 8 inch and the panes themselves are the 1 8 inch glass. So I'll write that measurement down. The double window pane is 5 8 inch overall. With 1 8 inch glass thickness. The next thing I'm gonna need to do is measure the width and the height of my glass pane. Hook my tape measure onto the glass and I'll measure over to the other side. It looks like this dimension is about 27 and 9 16. So the width Then I'll do the same thing on the height here. Hook it on the glass. Measure up and it looks like we are 19 and 13 16th 
That's the height. This window has these white grids in it. I need to make sure I get the dimensions for the glass order. Um, so the first thing I need to do is to count the, the, hor uh, the vertical ones. So this one has two verticals, these two, and then one horizontal. And then I need to measure the width of them as well. These grids are a 5 8 inch wide, which is pretty standard, I think. Two vertical. And one horizontal. Five eighths inch wide. Now the final thing I need to know is whether or not the glass is low E. The best way to tell is just if you look at the glass where there's no glass down here, there's the upper, there's glass up here. And it looks relatively the same color. If it's low E, the glass up here should have a bluish, kind of a darkish tint. Like the, it'll look a little bluish compared to the bottom. So this looks like it's a clear glass, so there's no low E in it. Now I'm ready to uh, place my glass order. Now I could order this glass through the window company, but in my experience it's been much easier and a lot less hassle to order through a local glass company. Whenever I call in the order, these are the dimensions I need. So it's 27 and 9 16 wide, 19 and 13 16 tall. The double pane is a 5 8 inch thick overall with the, each glass pane being 1 8 inch. And I want to point out that um, I've replaced 4 or 5 of these now and every one of them has been a 5 8 inch overall with 1 8 inch glass. So I think that's pretty typical in a standard residential window. And then it has two vertical grids and one horizontal grid and they're a 5 8 inch wide and they're also white and then the window has no low E just a clear glass my local glass company can usually have my glass ready in about a week at this point I'll snap in two of the uh, trim pieces that hold the glass in place and I'll put the window back in while I wait on my glass to arrive Spacers. 
Uh, sometimes they fall out, so I'll just set them to the side, and once I have my glass installed, I'll put them back in to hold the glass in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and caulk around the uh, perimeter where the sealant, the old sealant was. I'm going to put a bead of caulk there. I could get a new uh, window sealant, but I prefer just to use caulking as it's readily available and usually have it on hand. Uh, the caulking I'm using on this project is uh, the clear white lightning, it's 100% silicone, also exterior. So I'm just going to put a heavy bead of silicone all around the perimeter of this. Now I'm ready to set my glass in place. Now this will squish out on the other side, but that's okay. I'll flip it over and wipe off the excess. I want to reinstall my little black spacers here. Okay, now that I got it set in place and my spacers are in, I'm going to reattach the trim pieces here, starting with the bottom or the top. I'll just basically just set it in place and start on one end and just push down real hard and work my way down through there, just pushing it down in. Now that I have my pane, all, all my trim pieces in place, I'm going to flip it around. And I'll wipe off my excess silicone here. Okay, now that I got the caulking all wiped up, I'm ready to install the window. So to install the window, I'm basically do the opposite of what I did to take it out. I'll slide the tab in one end, and I'll slide it in the other. And I'll pull this side down until it's uh, squared up, and then I'll just tilt it up into place. And there we are. That wraps up this project. Um, I appreciate you following along and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel to see what else I get into and I uh, appreciate you all's support.